What's up guys, my name is Michael. In this video, I'm showing you 10 unique ways that you can use ChatGPT every single day. Without a doubt, ChatGPT has completely changed the way that we look stuff up using the internet. It feels like even five years ago, if you had a very specific search, you'd have to dig through various forums and go on Reddit threads. It was just a mess. But now with ChatGPT, you can literally ask your phone anything at any time. And in this video, I'll be showing you 10 ways that you can expand this use of ChatGPT and make it even better. Let's go ahead, roll the intro, and jump right in. All right, first up is money management. And this one has been very crucial for me because I'm actually about to buy a house. And I'll be giving you two examples here for working with your money and your investments with ChatGPT. The first one is if you want to figure out how much money you will have if you invest it. So let's just go ahead and I'll turn on dictation and I'll give ChatGPT an example. Tell me what would happen to my money if I invested $75 every single month from age 25 to 65 and got 7% return every single year. I'll go ahead and click on send. It's going to analyze and literally within seconds, it's going to start giving me an answer. As you can see, it puts the important information in bold. So it kind of just breaks down and makes sure that it understood you. And it's a little bit slow because it's doing a lot of calculations in the background. But you can see here, it did give us an answer. So this is actually pretty interesting if you want to know about money. If you invest just a little bit of money every single month, uh, you're going to have $188,000, which is crazy. So I've actually been learning a lot more about money and investments through ChatGBT. And as you can see, it is that easy to get answers. Tell me how much my mortgage payment would be if I am buying a house for $400,000, my down payment will be $50,000, and my mortgage rate is 3.99. So we click on send, and then about four to five seconds later, it starts giving us an answer. As you can see, every time it gives us an answer, it just kind of breaks down the info that we gave it just to make sure uh, that it understood correctly. And then here we go, within literally five, seven, eight seconds, it gave us an answer and it told us our monthly mortgage payment. Again, this is something that would have required a specific mortgage calculator website, and it would have taken you at least five or 10 minutes before. But with ChatGPT, you can do it in basic English and get an answer in just a matter of seconds. It is so powerful. All right, moving along, let's go to something a little bit less serious than money. The second thing I use is recipes. I use this literally every time I'm at the grocery store and my girlfriend loves it, it is so fun. I never know what I'm gonna make for dinner until I get to the parking lot of the grocery store and I ask ChatGPT. So I'll usually have like an idea, but I don't know the specific recipe. So I'll say something like this. Give me a few recipe ideas for chicken quesadillas. Then I'll click on send just like this. And then you can see it's breaking down a few different recipes and it's gonna give me all of the ingredients. It's gonna tell me the sauce I need. And it's also gonna tell me exactly how I can make it if I ask. So I'll go ahead and stop it like this. Give me directions for making number one. And just like this, it'll tell me the exact ingredients and the amount to use. And it's also going to tell me the exact directions right here. Uh, this is so cool. And honestly, this could replace uh, back in the day what a lot of people use cookbooks for. So if you were spending 20, 30 bucks on a cookbook for recipes, you can now get uh, unlimited recipes with ChatGPT. And you can literally have any recipe given to you as long as you can imagine it and tell it to ChatGPT. All right, next up at number three, this one is sort of like medical advice. But again, ChatGPT is not a doctor. If you have any concerns, go see your doctor. But if you are having certain medical type questions, you can ask ChatGPT and it can give you some pretty good answers. One of them is like I had a nosebleed the other day and I wanted to know how I could stop it. So I asked it this. How can I stop my nosebleed? Then, as you can see, it gives me the directions. I've been getting nosebleeds since I was like eight years old. So I can tell you that these definitely are the, uh, the ways that you want to handle a nosebleed. And it's very, very cool. You can get answers within seconds in plain English, again, instead of searching on a website like WebMD. And you can also tell it your symptoms as well, and it can try to give you a diagnosis. Again, it's not a doctor, but it can tell you what it thinks it may be. My symptoms are a sore throat, I'm stuffed up, and I cannot hear anything out of my left ear. And you can see it says it sounds like you may be dealing with a sinus infection or an ear infection. It tells us the possible cause, 
And then I really hope it tells us to go to a doctor because that's the number one thing that you should do. You can see it is a little bit slow. It is uh, putting the text out like word by word. So it does take a little bit to get all the answers, but you can see here, you can put your symptoms in and it does tell you when to see a doctor uh, if it lasts more than two to three days. So again, it's not gonna replace a doctor or going to a clinic or a hospital, but if you have any type of medical questions, it definitely is better than going to a website like WebMD. All right, next up at number four is planning a vacation. This one is really cool. You can get inspiration, you can get ideas, you can get hotel ideas and even more. So let's just go ahead and tell ChatGPT to plan us a trip to Mexico. I want you to plan me a trip to Cancun. The trip will be seven days. I want you to pick a good all-inclusive hotel and also tell me three excursions I can do when I'm on vacation. So it took a little bit longer there. It had to search the web, but as you can see, it is now giving us a result even with images. So it said, here is a seven day Cancun itinerary. It picks us a, uh, a major all-inclusive resort. It gives us the excursions I asked for. And here it's breaking down our seven day itinerary. So just like that, in a matter of seconds, ChatGPT has completely planned your vacation. Another thing I love using ChatGPT for is questions about my pet. So I am a new pet owner. I just adopted a kitten and sometimes I have questions. How short do I cut my kitten's nails? You can see here, it puts the important information in bold. This again is so much easier than calling your vet. For example, you can just get an answer within seconds. My kitten just got spayed yesterday. Are there any symptoms I should look out for and how long will it take for her to recover? You can see here it says she'll be a bit groggy and sore, which is definitely true. She definitely is sleepy and she isn't eating. So this definitely is completely normal. So I've said this a lot throughout the video, but it's just so cool how you can ask the question in normal plain English and get a really nuanced answer in just a matter of seconds. It's so futuristic. All right, next up is something that's kind of silly, but I use it every time I have to write a birthday card. I'm the kind of person that just hates putting happy birthday and then my name at the bottom of the card. I want to put something a little bit unique in it and that's where ChatGPT can come in. So let's go ahead and make up a scenario and see if ChatGPT can make me something interesting to put in a birthday card. Make me something funny to put in my friend Johnny's birthday card. He enjoys drinking beer and watching hockey and playing golf. Actually, it kind of sounds like me. So here we go, just in a matter of seconds, it has made what I want to put in my friend Johnny's birthday card. This is so cool. And uh, it kind of avoids you needing to come up with something creative because you can just use ChatGPT now. I also like to use ChatGPT to help plan my workouts. So if I just did a workout for a certain body part and I want to hit a different body part, I can ask ChatGPT. I just did a workout for my back and biceps. Now I want to do a full workout for my chest and triceps. Can you make me a hour long workout routine that I can do today? You can see it's uh, it's in a little bit of a different style. It said, hell yeah, that's because I told it to be a little bit more casual, which is kind of cool. You can tell ChatGPT the style that you want it to respond to you. But here you can see it is now completely crafting my workout. So here's the warm up. I'll start with barbell bench press, incline dumbbell press. It's even gonna tell you how long to do it for and how long to rest for. So you don't really need to pay for a trainer anymore. You don't need to pay for any of those fitness applications. You can literally just ask ChatGPT. Even though you can see here, I'm using ChatGPT 4.0, which is the premium version. Everything I'm showing you in this video will completely work with no ads with the free version of ChatGPT. Another thing I like using ChatGPT for is pretty much just like a search engine. And I like it explaining to me like I'm a 10 year old how something works. So for example, I didn't really understand the game of cricket. I didn't understand how the scoring worked. When I looked it up online, there was a lot of rules I had to read through and I just didn't understand it. So I opened up ChatGPT and it was able to explain it really easily. So I asked something like this, explain the rules and scoring of cricket to me like I'm a 10 year old and just puts it in basic point form and it makes it very easy to understand. So if you have anything that you don't understand, ChatGPT can explain it to you, uh, even if you are a 10 year old and you don't understand it very well. Uh, this is so much easier than searching Google and having to browse various websites. Another thing I love using ChatGPT for is very in-depth sports analysis. So sometimes I might be looking for a very specific statistic about a hockey team or a hockey player, and I wouldn't be able to get that very easily on the NHL website but ChatGPT can help me. So I might ask something like this. Who led the NHL in hits in the 2005 season? 
So yeah, I forgot there was a lockout in 05, but it tells me the next season, 06, uh, the leader in hits was Dustin Brown. So it gave me an answer within five seconds. This is definitely not something I would have been able to find on my own with Google. And it also has up-to-date information as well. So you can ask it something about a game that just happened yesterday, for example. Taking into account the outcome of yesterday's Edmonton Oilers game, what is the percentage chance that they end up winning the series? So you can see here, it's able to know the score of the last game. And here it is telling me that we have a 43% chance of winning the series. This is a statistic that I don't even think the NHL website would have. And it's just really cool that you can get this within a matter of seconds. And then the final thing I use ChatGPT for is TV and movie recommendations. I really enjoyed watching Severance on Apple TV. What are some other shows that you would recommend in the same style? So now, as you can see here, taking the information I gave it, it's telling me some TV show recommendations. What I really like is also telling me what streaming service it is on, because some people might not have like Hulu, for example. But you can see it gave me a list of, it looks like five recommendations. And it's also breaking them into uh, different uh, genres as well. So we have mind bending, we have corporate dystopia, just plain weird. So uh, you can see ChatGPT is gonna conform to your style. It's gonna get to know you over time. And uh, it's just really cool to get recommendations instantly like this, instead of browsing another website on the internet. So those are the top 10 ways that I use ChatGPT. It's honestly crazy how fast technology has come. Like honestly, if you showed me this 10 years ago, I'd be completely blown away. Every example in this video was using basic mode where you type your query, uh, but you can also use voice mode as well, which is awesome. And you can pretty much talk to it and get the exact same results. So I'll give you one example of how this works and it's really, really cool. Give me some gift ideas I can buy for a 22 year old man and the budget is $50. Sure, here are a few ideas. A cool graphic tee, a board game or card game, a portable Bluetooth speaker, a nice water bottle, or a fun DIY kit. Any of those sound good? So it's pretty cool. You can see the voice is very, very realistic. It actually sounds better than Siri on the iPhone. And if you go into voice mode with ChatGPT, you can honestly have a full on conversation. It doesn't even sound like AI or a robot. It literally just sounds like a human is talking to you and it's absolutely crazy. So I'd recommend trying that out as well. One more quick thing I wanna show you here on my iPhone is I have the iPhone 16 Pro. If you have the iPhone 15 Pro or the 16 Pro, I'd recommend setting up a shortcut to quickly open up ChatGPT with one click, just like this. So all you have to do is open up settings, then scroll down and click on action button. And you can see mine is set to a shortcut. All you have to do is go here and then choose open app. And then you'll choose ChatGPT, which is right here. And now whenever you press and hold the action button, it's gonna open chat GPT. So I have a dedicated AI button built right into my iPhone. So with all that said, I want you to head down to the comments and tell me what you use chat GPT for every single day. Cause I'm sure there are a lot more ways than I showed you in this video to use it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. My name is Michael with IDB and I'll see you in the next video.